<laughs> it's so it's such a the ding is not I feel like the ding does not represent on. Like you start broadcasting and it goes ping. Um, I feel like it should be. <laughs> it should be like Woo! Yeah. 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 Say hi. Hi everyone. <laughs> I wish I could see everyone. I wish I could see everyone, not just them seeing me. I see one of your favorite super fans on online there. Hi. I, I hope I pronounced your name right. Is it Vidya? What do you think? I don't know. I think so. I hope I pronounced it right. Can you can you write to me if I said it wrong? <laughs> Please? Blink once if you said it. <laughs> I really wish I could see all of you. That would be more fun. Yo, welcome people to your kitchen. Oh, yes. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh... I know you've been here before. You've been in here. Usually I'm taking. I just realized I can't get too far from you because then they can't no, hear you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, you can see me. Yeah, sound is important. Okay, I'm going to go back for a wide. <laughs> Yo's a bit of a neat freak. Just like, oh, that wide looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Tarantino. <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> Everyone, the baby voice you hear is my producer, Jocelyn Mercer. You heard her laugh during the videos. She's actually only six. <laughs> yep, I'm only six. I'm starting my <laughs> oh, career oh, oh. early. Oh, who's that? I'm not who's able to see anything. Is oh, she can't see. Oh no. Why? I don't know. Let's text Rachel, our wonderful. Yes, to see if she can see. <laughs> Why? Um, I think, I wonder if it's on her end or our end. I'm moving my head as if that's going to help. Can you see me now? Dun, dun, dun. Why? 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 Okay, stand by. Stand by for anyone that's with us right now. Had a cake yet? If you can, if anyone else can see us and is online with us, please let us know by sending us a message. Yes, that would be amazing. Because you need to see because I'm wearing a fantastic cake tea today. It's a, it's a little preview. It's a little foreshadowing of what's to come on how to cake it. Should okay. I start to answer questions? Because if they can hear me. Um, oh, well, an email's coming through. No. <laughs> Stand by, stand by. Um, I wish there was, should we sing hold music? <laughs> you should sing hold music. You don't see somebody sing, so you should. But it's not really sung, is it? It's no, like, it's, it's more like, like, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's never like a, a voice. Oh, oh, okay. Rachel said she can see us. Aww. Okay, so sorry. Who is it that can't see us? It's Vidya. I'm sorry. I hope I'm saying your name right, A. And B, <laughs> I really want you to be able to see me. Okay, Hello. keep keep trying, Vidya. It might be something on your end where you have to allow the camera. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to start the kitchen tour. Yes. Welcome. I'm going to be like that away. <laughs> Okay, this is my bulletin board, which I'm actually going to dress up soon because I'm tired of looking at gray. And this is where I would normally put, like, my orders or things I have to remember, like, get more butter. Um, <laughs> which, oh, speaking of butter. Speaking of butter. <laughs> I don't know if you need more butter, yo. Yeah? I actually have more in my fridge. This is, see, this is when you bake, you put your butter and your eggs at room temperature. So I took them out already so they can come down to room temperature so I could bake with them. How many do we have here? I just want to... One, two, three. I have seven and a half. And this isn't classic. Yeah, so it's seven and a half pounds. This yeah, is, that's some good shooting. This is No Name, right? This yeah. is like a classic Canadian brand called No Name. Because mm -hmm. they're too cool to have a brand name. Yes, yes. We have a brand name. It's called How to Cake It. <laughs> In case you're not sure. <laughs> With Yolanda. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> um, this is my picture ledge. I just like to have inspiration. Sorry, guys. I have to. There we go. Oh, that's nice. So this is a print I bought from IKEA years ago, and I couldn't. I love IKEA. Um, and this, I couldn't believe it. This is a slice of cake. This is my daddy in his baker's uniform. Hello. 
This is another IKEA print. It's a cupcake. <laughs> kind this, of. It's a weird cupcake. It's anyway. a weird cupcake. It's very square. <laughs> it's very square. It's a very square cupcake. <laughs> You'd actually, you probably. I love would that. make this cupcake. <laughs> I want to know why they don't make cupcake pans. I actually, I'm going to tell you a little secret. One of my biggest pet peeves is the bevel in pans. I use like professional pans. Here we which go. Are straight. Show us inside, and am I okay? Here yeah, you're great. Those are super See, straight. They're straight. But when you buy a lot of cake pans that are like, I'm sorry, but they're aimed at like the home baker. No offense, home bakers, but you know, you could buy them at like Michael's or a local store. They often are the type that are beveled. You don't even have any to show us because you don't I use don't. them. So is this the better is this the better pan to use? Yes, this is like a professional baking pan. That way if you're baking a square cake, it comes out those are real nice. We'll get back to pans because we know a lot of you have been asking about pans. So we'll yes. get back to that. Yeah. This is my extra KitchenAid bowl because my first KitchenAid I had, well, my first KitchenAid I had was my mom's and it still works amazing because she doesn't bake. And <laughs> my second KitchenAid one day in here went kaplunk. It was just like, I got to go, Yolanda. <laughs> I don't bake anymore. And so mid baking, <laughs> it, it had somewhere better to yeah, be. Yeah, it decided it had picked the wrong career and was like, I didn't think it was going to be like this. I'm always covered in chocolate. So <laughs> she literally quit. No notice, no two weeks. She was just like, I'm out mid batter. And then I had to run to like Williams and Oma and buy a brand new mixer, which is, and I use the six quart mixer. So it ain't cheap. I bet you that mixer now with your crazy girl on YouTube is regretting that damn, decision. Damn right. I bet you she, I hope she's watching. <laughs> I hope that mixer is watching I right hope now. White KitchenAid Six Port is watching. <laughs> and I hope they subscribe as I hope all of you subscribe. Yes. And KitchenAid is sorry she has subscribed. She watches with a frown on. And I hope you all watch with a smile on your face. <laughs> the lesson is never quit. <laughs> Never quit, people. Keep practicing. Okay. It's okay to change your mind. That's understandable, but you can't just flat out quit in the middle. Actually, you know what? I don't want to make videos anymore. But... <laughs> no. <laughs> Come back. Oh, there's a, there's a question. Oh, good. Hi, Yolanda. I can see you. I love your kitchen. Yay. Oh, it's Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Not that we know Rachel. No. No, not that she works on it. <laughs> so then. Guess what? More Ikea prints. These are new. Aren't they nice? I like them because they're geometrical. <gasps> Is that okay? Can they see them? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There they're geometrical and colorful. I like that. And this is my mini oh. little mixer. It's actually this is the one you used when you were three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when I started baking, you can't, bake my first, you can't even bake a cupcake in here. Well, it's a clock, so really you can't think a thing. That was when you were a tiny person. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then here's my daddy again. So tell us a bit more about your daddy. My dad was a baker, and yeah, he was a baker. And so when I was growing up, he always baked. My mother never baked. Well, my mother bakes a, a couple of traditional things from her country, um, but my dad always did the baking and a lot of the cooking, and so that's when I started to bake. What's your dad. favorite item in here that belonged to your dad? Ooh, come on down this way. Let's way. go. Doo -doo. I'm going to pick it up. Perfect. It's this because I have it sealed. It's my dad's baking book, so he would write his recipes out, and I like it because I could see his handwriting. And there's a whole bunch of recipes in here, so I framed it in this shadow box so I would never get it wet or dirty. Mm, is that from Ikea? No, it's <gasps> from Umbra. Oh. Fantastic Canadian company. A close second. Yeah. So, And then I actually wrapped this beautiful Japanese paper behind it, and, you know, cra I'm crafty. You are crafty. We need to do some craft videos. We should. Because Yolanda is very crafty. We, we should. We need to do <coughs> Okay. So... Pans, I think. We had a really, is there any more questions or should we stick with the FAQs? Oh, Casper. Oh, look, it's Casper. Look, Casper oh. texts me. Casper, always, I'm, now I really want to know what he's going to say. Okay. Uh, I pans. see a text from Casper too. We should check, we should just check that live. I should check it. It's going to say something that I can't repeat. Watch. Oh, he sent me a YouTube clip. Oh, we can't watch that. No, right I'm not even going to open it. <laughs> it <laughs> might. While we're live. <laughs> Um, <laughs> tell him to he join us. to Derek Friday as well. That's our other friend. So it can't be, can't be good. No. 
can't be good. Tell him to, for anyone out there who's watching who's a Sugar Stars fan, you oh, know who yeah. Casper is. Yeah, you guys know Casper if you watch Sugar Stars. Tell him to join us. Tell him to I'm join I'm going on. to text Casper right now. Casper, look at my phone, it's cracked. <laughs> yeah, I know you feel horrible, because <laughs> I do. Join us on Google. <clears throat> In Google. Like, that's not proper. Why did it correct? Me? It's cracked. It's incorrectly corrected. Um, yes, I got a great question about how many cake pans I have. Well, here in my kitchen where I bake, I have 70. <laughs> Can you just pick up one of those? So, like, this looks like one pan to you, right? Bam! And then there's another set. And another set. And another set. This is my biggest. Can they see? Am I good? Look at that. Wow. This is actually the biggest they make. This is 16 inch. Oh, I like this shot. Hold on. Oh. Like Minnie Mouse. <laughs> okay, so this is the biggest they make. You have to hold them higher to look like Minnie Mouse, yo. There I'm we go. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> so. So, tell us about is, those. This is, um, oh, oh, somebody loves my mini mixer. Yes, it's adorable. It is. <laughs> Um, we need to use that on the show. Um, how do I, how do I, I just touched this like it was an iPhone, it's a laptop. You I can probably scroll on the pad. Oh, I'm not good at scroll. I like a mouse. Well, there's no mice here except for Minnie Mouse. Me! Speaking <laughs> of mice, oh, okay. Did you figure it out? Yes. Okay. So, this is the biggest fan they make, 16 inches. They make 18 inch pans. They're kind of hard to find where I am, but they actually make it in two halves. Oh. And the reason is this is a lot of batter. So by the time the middle is cooked, your ends will be burnt. Can we see inside there? Yeah. Yes, can you see inside? <laughs> so by the time by the time the middle's cooked, the edges will be burnt. The edges would be burnt. Got it. So it's just too big. Even even like 16 inch, for example, if somebody says to me, I've only used this pan probably twice. Because, especially even in wedding cakes, um, I personally think that taller looks nicer. And the wider your base is, the less tall it looks. Mm. So even if you could do three three-tiered cakes that are exactly the same height, but if the base of one is wider and the other one is narrower, that one will look taller. We should set up a little test for I'm them gonna, on here. Let's just you. demonstrate. I mean, I have enough pens. <laughs> so 70... 70 pans just in the kitchen, and you have more upstairs. Correct. Damn. Okay, so let's pretend that we had a 12 inch. A, okay, these are lower, but you'll see what I mean. 12 inch, 10 inch, and an 8 inch. And the difference between, and sorry, you can direct the screen here. Yeah. The difference between each tier should be about an inch or two. It should be two inches, okay. which leaves you an inch all around. So Less. it's actually two yeah. inches bigger. Got it. Right. And you tear down right in the center. Can they see? Can you see the screen? There we go. I'm directing my director. <laughs> I like this. So, so there you go. But then if you do. Are they good on the screen? Am I good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So these are these are both short but you can see what i mean this this automatically draws your eye more up and this draws your eye more away right because it's wider yes so some people like that look i i like height i like and a lot of pictures you see of wedding cakes in magazines they're actually you'd be surprised if you saw them in real life they're actually really small mm -hmm. because they can take the close-ups put it anywhere mm -hmm. even you know even in Martha Stewart magazine mm -hmm. the cakes are gorgeous and they're often on cake stands well cake stands don't usually come bigger than at most 12 inches wide so if it's on a cake stand you know that cake is not 16 inches at the bottom mm -hmm. mind you she's Martha Stewart she can get a 16 inch <laughs> cake pan, cake Cake Got stands. Made. Oh, cake stands. Can we show them out here? Because you guys have never seen out here. Out, out here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh, hold on. Sorry, guys. Turn away. Turn away. Are we back? Yes. We're back. <laughs> I hit the minions. <laughs> um, <laughs> those crazy minions. They, they're all Hollywood now because they got a movie. You know? Um... This is our water. <laughs> this is our water. This, we drink a lot of this. We drink a lot because when you're filming, lights are really hot. hot. Just ask my cakes. <laughs> if it's only hot. the cakes were here, they would tell you so they much. They would. They would. 
Um, this is cute. These so are pictures is, of your work, right? Yeah, Up here? Yeah. Can I see them? It's a wedding cake that's a little sweet table. Um, I This is the where I would, like, if I had a client, I would talk to them and show them all my books. Oh, yes. And books, books make you look smart. Yes. <laughs> I like these books because they're mostly pictures. <laughs> um, and so I show them books. I show them pictures of work I've done. I talk to them. I might do a little sketch in front of them. I'm not as good a drawer as I am a cake decorator. <laughs> and here are some anybody. stands. What's your favorite stand here? I Honestly, I it's, oh, it has napkins on it. Oh, that one is so, we haven't used that yet. No, and this is, um, this How is beautiful. Yeah, so this is from Hungary. My mom's, one of my mom's oldest friends, her husband, this was his mother's. And um, he's kept it ever since she passed away. The gentleman who gave me this right now is 91. Wow. So imagine how old this is. Um, Show us the inside there. It's oh, it's so beautiful. And he actually gave it to me, and I couldn't believe that he gave it to me. Like, I was just like, I can't take this. And he's like, I want you to have it because I know you'll cherish it, which I do. Um, so I've never used I just think it's, it's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. They don't make them like that anymore. You can't get that at Ikea. No offense, no, Ikea. We I love you. Ikea, but you don't sell that. Can't get that. And what about the Rosanna ones here? I love these. Oh, I love these. Um, the designer's Rosanna, right? I think so. These were actually um, my girlfriend, Bianca, got married, and I made her sweet table. And so we got these for her table. So she kept half of them, and I kept half of them. Mm. So when I look at them, I always think about that. That's then I got this weird, my friend Svad bought me this. It's like, it's a cake server. It's by that French company that I can't remember the name of now. But they make a lot of really fun, bright things. That's cool. So it's like a doggy. You know, I like that it has eyes. eyes. <laughs> so it's cute. like a little dog and it's actually a cake server. That's awesome. And <laughs> yeah. This is backgrounds that These we are use. Background. <laughs> this is my cake art that I made a long time ago. It's a little covered by the backgrounds we yeah. use for photos. And this is a little nook. Oh, I love the thank you card area. Oh, yes. Thank you card Can area. Can I see? Am I, am I, is the screen okay? Yeah. That's so cool. So this is where I put up all, like, the thank you cards people have given me. Some I can remember instantly. Like, this couple had a whole travel theme. So I did suitcases as their wedding cake. And everybody's um, place card was, like, looked like a plane ticket when I went to go deliver it. And they even made these tags that were on... Can you take off? I don't remember their names. <laughs> Is that a horrible thing to say? <laughs> You've had a lot of clients. I don't J&M think... Airlines. So obviously one of their names began with J and one of their names began with M. Um, and this was on the little gifts that they gave to everyone, so they sent me one. Cute. This is awesome. Yeah. We sometimes take pictures in this little nook without the door there. And then this yes. is your computer area, right? Yeah, look, I have the old one. I love it though. I really love it because it's white. That's why I can't do the Google Hangout here because look, there's no camera. There's no camera. <laughs> there was a time when cameras were not in computers. We know a lot of you watching don't remember that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, kids. Speaking of youth, <laughs> I got an interesting question. I'm going to pull it up. Thank you so much to everyone who sent in questions. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, where is it? Um, it's, it's a long one, I remember. Wow. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hi, my name is Oriente. I hope I said your name right as well. I know a weird name. It's not weird at all. It's original and amazing, and I love it. I'm 13 years old from Spain. I love Spain. Can I tell you how much I love Spain? I went to Spain with my husband, who was then my boyfriend, and all we did was eat. And all we did was eat. And by the end, we couldn't even wear the clothes we brought. That's how delicious <laughs> Spain is. So thank you. Um, I'm a 13-year-old from Spain, and I discovered your channel a month ago. I cake it. Get it? I get it. <laughs> so here's my question. When, do you decide, when did you decide you wanted to be a baker? Wow, I always loved baking. And I've been baking ever since I was like 10 or 12. And I actually didn't decide till I was 19 because that in this country at the time was when you graduated high school. Now it's 18. But uh, when I graduated, it was 19. And 
So at 19, you kind of have to make your choice of what you're going to do next. And all of my friends and all the girls I went to school with were going to university. And I really honestly couldn't think of one thing I wanted to take in university other than astrology, <laughs> which I still love. But I didn't think that was a career path. So um, I ended up going to college and I didn't go for baking. I went for cooking, which was great and I don't regret it. It was really awesome. I learned a lot. I love food. Um, I love food. I love to eat out. I love to drink wine. I'm very interested in that. I just didn't like, I had a teacher in college who said something that has always stuck with me and he said, cooking is an art and baking is a science. And that's exactly right because with cooking, you're so much more free and you're so much more free to change your mind midway, right? Like let's say you're frying a chicken breast in a pan and you're thinking to yourself, it's getting too dark. You can take that pan and stick it in the oven and bake it instead midway. Or let's say you overcooked your chicken breast and you feel like it's dry. You can make a sauce and pour it over your chicken breast. You can cut it up and put it in a stir fry. You can let it cool, cut it up and make a sandwich. You can, you have like so many options available. Really in cooking, the only thing you can do is to wreck it is burn it black or add way too much salt. So you're a lot freer. Whereas in baking, if you make a mistake, half the time you won't know what the mistake is until after it's baked. You can't look at a cake in the oven and say, oh, it doesn't look right and pull it out and stir it and put it back. You can't do that. <laughs> so there's, there's, you need to pay more attention when you're measuring. And that's another thing with cooking. A lot of cooking is very much to taste. Um, whereas with baking, you have to get the core ingredients right. It's a science. Um, that's my husband. And <laughs> I know I told him. I told him I was doing a Google chat, but I know he doesn't really know what that means. Neither do I. <laughs> Even as we chat, I don't really know what's happening. We don't understand how no. all of you can see this no. at this moment. <laughs> I don't really actually believe you're there. I'm just like, okay, I'm doing like a speech. Um, <laughs> so... What was I saying? So baking is very scientific. Yes, yeah, so you have to get the core ingredients right. Now, I am a big believer, and I hope that I'm going to help you do this, in debunking all of the cake decorating, not myths, but I feel like with baking, people get really scared and nervous. And I understand why, because the average recipe, when you pull it out, it's like an essay. Like, I'm a baker, and I know what I'm doing, but when I pick up a book or, or go on a website that's very long-winded, I actually can't stand that, because I feel like, why do I have to read five pages to make some chocolate chip cookies? Like, there's, there's some things in baking that can be much easier. Sure, baking a souffle, yes, you should read about that, you should <laughs> practice. But if you want to make chocolate chip cookies for your kids, you don't have to get really scared and nervous about that. Even if they come out crispier or soft, they're cookies and they taste good. As long as they taste good raw, that's how good they taste. <laughs> I <laughs> concur. So I hope that I can help you do that because I feel that's why a lot of people don't even attempt baking. Whereas in cooking for years, that has been sort of the core message. Cooking doesn't have to be hard. 30 minute meals, let me show you how to make that. That has been the core message. Whereas somehow in baking that hasn't happened as well. I think a lot of people have defaulted to using mixes and instant stuff, which you don't have to do. You can make it from scratch. That is correct. I think the way that baking has become easy is literally, we put it in a box for you, so add an egg. And the problem with that is, in my opinion anyway, Anything that is in a box that can live on a shelf for two years has something going on in it. <laughs> Unless it's a box of salt or a box of sugar. Um, but And we don't want to know what's going on in there. <laughs> they're just natural preservatives. Salt mm -hmm. has been a natural preservative for years. So, um, But that's the way things have been made easier in the baking world. Buy a mix. Add some pudding. Do this. And I'm not really a fan of that because I think... There is a lot of easy baking you can do that could still be from scratch and still taste so much better. I mean, it's, it's, I'm not, look, I'm not going to lie, people. I have to tell you something. <laughs> Cookies dun, dun, dun. and cake are not a food. They are to me. But they're, they're about enjoyment and eat. You shouldn't eat cookies and cake all day. <laughs> Just throw a salad in there. Then when you eat your cookie, you'll feel like, this cookie's delicious, and I ate a salad. That's my theory. That's the key. Just alternate Balance. salads, cake, 
Balance, balance, balance. Right? We've gotten that question a lot is, Yolanda, how do you stay so fit and make cakes all day long? I'm not fit. We have a special lens on the camera. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no, I'm not. I think my body just gave up. My body's like, forget it. She's going to eat cake. So yeah. I just made an allowance. Um, Don't take this as advice to just eat more cake and hope that your body won't. No, <laughs> Jocelyn is very healthy. Next to Jocelyn, I'm like an epic meal time girl. Like, you know what I mean? It's just. So, I heard your fridge come on. We should talk about your fridge. Although it's empty today. She's she's trying to just make an appearance. She's like, hello. <laughs> she's uh, yelling at us. So the fridge makes noise. It's quite loud, as you can hear. Um, Actually, I never even noticed for years what you can hear with my fridge. I never noticed. And then when we started to film, it beca she became an issue. Apparently, she's an issue. She's an issue. She's and she's hard. big. She's, she's big. You, I could get in this fridge. <laughs> that, that might be fun. Literally, if I took out these shelves, I could physically get into the <laughs> I wonder if we should try that. <laughs> I have shoes on. Open the other door. Can you do that? At, I guess that's hard. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Here we go. <laughs> Is my screen okay? Yeah. And I don't look awkward at all. <laughs> you don't look awkward at all, Yolanda. <laughs> uh, I wish I was a model because they always seem to they would be like... <laughs> If I was on the prices right, I would have never done this. I would have been like, right? But I'm not. I'm a cake decorator. So tell us, we've talked about this in your comments. I know you've replied to a lot of questions on YouTube lately answering this question. Mm -hmm. But your fridge, you've had altered so that there's no humidity, correct? Correct. So tell us about even, that. We don't know how you can do it at home, but we can tell you this fridge. I don't know the proper scientific way to explain this. So I will just tell you that before I had this fridge, I had a regular home and I would only use it for cakes. So I would turn just turn it down low. The humidity. The, or the you know how when you buy a fridge it says like right. one, two, three, four, five, or whatever. It has a level. So I would turn it to the lowest level and I would only have cakes in my fridge. So sweating never became an issue. And the reason I had the ability to turn it down is because I had nothing else in that fridge. You can't turn your fridge to low if you're keeping meat and things that can rot in it. So if you're a home baker and you're just putting a cake in it and all of your groceries are in there, then you don't want to spoil your milk and anything else that can go bad. Um, so I never had an issue because I had this home fridge. And then when I updated because I needed more space, I got this fridge, the first cake I put in there, it's like she took a shower. <laughs> So what happens when it's in a regular fridge? It just sweats and sweats and like sweats. It sweats and sweats and sweats. Like physically sweats. It looks like you took a, a misting bottle and misted your cake. And you're talking about fondant cake. Fondant. Yes. Okay. This is only fondant. It so don't put fondant in a regular fridge. can sweat a little bit, um, but not to the degree that fondant can. And the, why it's tricky is when you decorate a cake with fondant, you need to touch it. You don't touch buttercream, right? You apply it. And you smooth it and you pipe. Don't you love, I am a hand. Look at me, I'm like, you apply it and you smooth it, but you don't physically touch it. Whereas with fondant, you know, maybe you've put it in the fridge and then you want to go back and apply stripes or polka dots or whatever. You have to physically touch it. So once it's wet, all that happens is you see your fingerprints, it smushes in your hand. Mm -hmm. If it's colored, that color can even start to like it's a very dark color, like red or black. So you had this fridge altered so that when you, so the humidity is low and it's very cool. Yeah, basically he explained it to me like he altered it so it would work like a home fridge. And it would never exceed a certain temperature. So how long can you keep fondant in this special, how to cake, it's the how to I cake I can literally keep fondant in here for days and it would never, that would never happen to us. That's amazing. But for people at home with home fridges, never in fridge if it's fondant? You have to know your, like I get asked this question a lot, but you need to know your fridge. And the other important thing is what is the temperature outside of your fridge? Mm -hmm. If you're in Brazil or you're in India, the, the difference between your fridge and the outside temperature is huge. Mm -hmm. So the huger that, huger? <laughs> the, lar the, the larger that difference is, the more your fondant is gonna sweat. Because if it's going from cold to, to hot to boiling hot, forget it. It's like fondant is a person. Yeah, it's exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly, exactly right. So that's temperature in cake decorating is huge and not just when it comes to your fridge. Temperature so outside, temperature in your car when you're delivering it, temperature of the place the wedding cake is going to sit out for six hours. Temperature is everything. 
And it's very frustrating and difficult as a cage decorator because you can't actually control the temperature. You can't control the weather. No. Darn. Okay, if There's you have more... who has that job. If you have more questions about fondant, we'll answer them. But let us know if that makes sense to you. And if you get it, are there any questions on the screen? Or do we just have our FAQs? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I see them. No. Okay, so we no, have our good. FAQs. What's over here? It's 9.29. Oh, one more minute. Show us. My oven. Are you ready for this? This is where the magic happens. I, I wish it was on because it was steam in your face. <laughs> Damn. Look at all those racks. These are all, excuse me, um, <laughs> these are all the racks. I love this oven because I can take them out like if I'm baking a full cake. I can take it out, make room. If I'm baking cookies, I can add more and I can fit more trays. Before I used to bake in a household oven, I could bake maybe one pan at a time if it was a big pan, two pans if it was small. So it took me so much longer because I'd bake two, take them out cool, make the next batter, bake two. It took I can't even believe I did that. And I did that for years. Ugh, that's a lot Oh, of and my mixer. So this oh, is yeah. the mixer you always see on Hattie Cake. This is the new KitchenAid mixer that replaced that other one. Yeah, and she's not even, she's not even new anymore. <laughs> but she's good. She looks young. She looks young. I'm like in the, I always clean my mixer. I take a toothpick and clean here. I Ooh, let's see. Yes, I have a little toothbrush. Can they see? Not a Can used one. Yeah, I clean all in here. Because that's the place that it gets stuck. Clean all in here, so I keep her very clean and happy. Hopefully, she won't quit. Speaking of neat, clean, and happy, I think before we go, you need to show a few drawers. Hey. So or this is like my little. Tell tools. me if they can see. Can they see? They can see. Oh yeah. So this is my collection of rulers and some more rulers and some more rulers. I like measuring. Oh, they're the fondant smoothers. Where can people get those? Someone asked that the other day. Oh, these are available almost everywhere. This is like the most basic cake decorating tool because you sort of need this. This and a rolling pin. Yes. And rolling fondant. Pins. Um, I, I bought these in England. You can buy them at, I'm trying to think of a worldwide. I shop at Flower Confections. They dot C-A. Yeah. I think it's SCA. They ship worldwide. Just Google fondant smoothers in your yeah, country. Yeah, there's find tons. Them. I think one of these is PME, which I love. This is Gem. This one is PME. I actually love this one. It's actually chipped. Mm. See that? But I refuse to let it go because this one is my favorite. I actually have five brand new fondant smoothers back there, and I don't use them. <laughs> Stick in like the field. So I've always, I'm a big <laughs> fan of, like, I always Google something and order one I haven't tried. But that doesn't mean I'll like it. So there's, I yeah. found other fondant smoothers and I just don't like the way they feel. I love the way that one feels. So I'm gonna try and find that one again. What's in here? Knives. No. Ooh. Oh, knives and spatulas. Can they see? Yes. And bench scrapers. Bench scrapers. Where's your dad's knife? I have plenty of my dad's knives. These two. Oh, cool. And there's something else that's my dad's. Oh, my dad's spatula. That's so cool. What? Someone, someone asked where you got that blue knife recently. Winners! Oh, wow. Winners. Yeah. It's super fun. It's just, it's really fun. That's why I picked it. I saw it. It's a ceramic. What's it's the ceramic brand? coated. Acuto. 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 There you oh, go. Oh, yeah. The camera's up there. Hi, Yolanda. <laughs> well, that didn't help. Oh, A-C-U-T-O. Yes. Acuto. And I've used this, like, when I chop chocolate or as soon as I have to cut, you know, oranges or something like that. We use it a lot on how to cake it. I use it because it's colorful. It's so pretty. It's also sharper than this. Yes. This is good for cutting a slice of cake, but this is sharper if I have to cut chocolate. Is there any more questions on your list here that we my should bins? get to? My bins? Oh, the bins. Hi, they're marked. They're so Sugar. Flour. Flour, Jocelyn loves this one. <laughs> Miscellaneous. <laughs> Miscellaneous is where I put like Cocoa and marshmallow. Is there anything in there today? Mm. No. No. We've just done it. Just like, oh, I oh. Have, I've leftover popcorn. Oh, we need to eat that on set. I know. That's leftover from movie night. Ah, uh, movie night cake. If you haven't seen it, we'll put okay. the link in the description. Check the FAQs. Let's see if there's anything else pressing. I think there was someone on there that's awesome that wanted a shout out. Yeah, no, it was her. It was her. I was oh, answering was. her question. Sorry. Is that her? Is there no, anyone No, it else? wasn't. So I hope I answered Oriente's question. We'll get to was... more questions next, Cake Talk. But... Oh, it was Carlina P, 123. What's up? Hi, Carlina P. 
um, from Instagram and she asks, when did I start baking? Why do I love so much? So I did say yeah. that I started baking at 10. around 10, 12. I love it because <laughs> I have two sides to my personality. I have a Jekyll and a Hyde. So which one's the bad one? I don't, uh, I don't know. Jekyll, I feel. Okay, so I have this I side <laughs> that is very neat and organized at all times. I've always been this way. Nobody told me to be this way. I'm not trying to be this way. I Even when I was a kid, I always put my toys away in the right spot. I'm obsessed like that. So I like that about baking because, like I said, it's a science. So there are definite rules. But on the other side of me, I'm very creative and I like to have fun. And cake decorating... Let's me do that. It's fun. It's fun. And even though I make cakes every week, I, I make a different cake every week. So um, I get my structure, but I don't get bored. So that's why I love it. Plus, there's always a tasty result at the end. Yay. Which you should eat after your salad. Yay. Uh, yes, after salad. Right, Jocelyn? Yes. After salad. Okay, Don't it looks like. my t-shirt? Yes. Tell us about your t-shirt. I This is probably my favorite. I love it. Where are they going to see that t-shirt? They're going to see it this coming Tuesday on How to Cake It at 11 a.m. Yay! You're going to see it. It's going to transform. It's probably reminding you of something right now. It's pretty famous, right? Usually it doesn't say cake. It says something else. <laughs> if you know, leave hint, a comment hint, below. <laughs> hint, hint. Okay, so when's the next Cake Talk? Thank you for coming, by the way. Yes, thank you for coming. The next Cake Talk. The next Cake Talk. I always forget that we put this up on YouTube after. I feel like this is Snapchat. Like I'm like, Ooh, and then it's gone. Oh, thank God, because I like, nope. touched my hair too much. This nope, will live it forever. will live forever. So that's great. Um, the next cake talk is July 16th. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. EST. EST. <laughs> and July 16th. Yay. That's very close to my birthday. Yes, that's right. What's your new goal for your birthday? Tell us about the little quickly before we go. So as you know, my goal was 5,000 subscribers by my birthday. And thanks to all of you, I have surpassed that. We have surpassed that. We are so excited. We actually can't even believe it. Um, <laughs> yay! Yay. And so now I'm thinking 50,000. By when? When's your birthday? By my birthday, July 21st. Dare I say it? <gasps> Dare I say it? I just want a nice, even, round number. That's all. That's why I chose it. With a five in it, so it's easy. With a five in it, so it's easy. I thought, I'll just add a zero at the end. Right? That's right, right? 50,000. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just add another zero. <laughs> like, is it two or I'm not a one? mathematician. You're not here for math questions. You're here for cake questions. So, um, yeah. 50,000 dare I say new videos every Tuesday here on how to cake it subscribe to help me get to 50,000 by my birthday <laughs> please leave a comment below give me a thumbs up share my videos on Facebook wherever you want to share them thank you <laughs> thank you and good night is that too hosty thank you and we're out I think you have to press the button oh <laughs> Bye. Why do I lean in like this? I'm like, <laughs> where's the button? <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, bye everyone. Thanks bye. for coming.